was good. That was good. The one squad, I was watching a movie, it was a burial scene. The guy was in the coffin, he, he died, they were burying him. And guess what? As they were burying him, the guy was sweating. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Yes, and it's finally here. The Basket Mouth Uncensored, live in New York. I am Linda and I'm representing African Connect Online. I'm here to serenade you with all the whole behind the stage scenes, the celebrity interviews, and catching up all the whole beautiful people we have in the house tonight. It's going to be a great show. We have a lot of comedians in the house. There's Chief OB, there's Fox P, there is Basket Mouth himself. I'm so excited because he's here live in New York. All the time people watch him back in Nigeria, but finally he's back here again in New York and it's gonna be a beautiful show tonight. I hope you're ready because we are gonna laugh till we can laugh no more. We're gonna laugh till our ribs crack. So come on, tighten up your seat belts and come with me as we enjoy the show. Yes, it's the official Basket Mouth Uncensored. And look at the lovely people we have here. It's gonna be a great show. But before we go any further, I want this cute, lovely ladies and gentlemen to meet. Please, let's meet you. What's your name? Hi, Todd. And you? Barry. You? Yes, man. And you? You are? Emmanuel. And? Basie. All right. All the names I can pick each and every one of them <laughs> right now. <laughs> but we're here to have fun tonight. It's going to be a blast. They all look cute. I want to ask her, tell me, how long did it take you to put up? This out cute outfit you have on right oh now. You know, ladies, they take forever to put on their clothes. Like, especially when you have to go to an event, like, especially Basket Mouth event. So tell us, how long did it take you to put this on? Actually, honestly, it took me about, like, two hours. So. <laughs> <laughs> two hours. That's all the ladies. Can this gentleman tell me, how long did it take you to put this together? Oh, 45 minutes. <laughs> 45 minutes. A guy took 45 minutes. Oh, my God. All right, tell me, what are you expecting tonight? much fun and laughter okay yes. can you tell me what you're expecting who are especially you looking forward to you know meeting tonight yeah basket mouth um, definitely he's a global comedian and i've seen some of his work I, i'm looking forward to actually laugh yes. all right like you've had it they're all here to laugh i hope you guys are ready to crack your ribs because you're going to be cracking your ribs tonight. So it's nice to meet you all and I hope you're going to have a lovely time tonight. Enjoy the show. You are watching African Connect Online. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat because what I'm seeing right here, I can't fit shouts like Nigerians would say. <laughs> can we meet you please? Hi, my name is Tinel. Tinel, Tinel, can you tell me whose collection you have on right now because you're looking so stunning? Um, basically, my jacket is from Zara, my shirt is Top Man, and my shoe is from Louis Oh my god, this guy is complete designer from head to toe. Oh my god, this is so, so, so sick. You're looking so good. Thank so you. tell me, so where were you originally from? Thank you, darling. I'm originally from Nigeria. And he's Nigerian. But I hope you're looking forward to having a lot of fun tonight because yeah. it's going to be packed with a whole lot of fun. So, which other comedian do you think you're going to enjoy his show tonight? Um, I don't really know yet. All I know is just Basket Mouth for now, but let's hear it first. And my heart is open to anything. So. Keep your fingers crossed. Because Cross, right? with Basket Mouth, there are a lot of surprises. Everything is possible. Everything <laughs> is possible. Yeah. So come on, let's go have some fun tonight. You're watching African Connect Online. Oh yes, like we all know, it's the Basket Mouth Uncensored Life in New York. And I have this beautiful lady here with me. Can I meet you please? What's your name? Hi, my name is Nicola. Nicola. Nicola, where are you originally from? I'm from Nigeria, Benin. Ooh, she's Nigerian from Benin City. Yeah. All right, how long have you been here? How long have you been here? I've been here for six years. Oh my God. She's been here for six years. That's a long time. When last did you go back home? I haven't. Oh, <laughs> I think she's lost. We need to find her and take her back home. All right. All right. It's Basket Smile Show. Have you ever been to any of his shows before? Oh Lord. I, I, the first time he came here, they did it in a, in a place that had a bar and I was there but I couldn't go in because I wasn't um, 21 yet. So I wasted my ticket basically. Yeah, it was annoying. But, yeah. Oh, I know how sad it is. <laughs> but thank God you're you're up to the age limit. Thank to you. Watch and the there's show. no bar here either, right? There is a bar. Come on. There is. Over there there is a bar. Okay, so what are you looking forward to tonight? Um I just hope he brings it because he's funny, because I've seen him like post the NEA. So he's fun, I just, I can't wait, like, I'm just excited. I am excited too, and I know it's going to be a fun night. Yeah. So tell me, 
I love what you have on. She is ravishing. She is stunning. Can you take a 360, please? Oh, so the camera can catch this. Okay. It's not going to go to waste. Oh my god. All right. I had fun on the red carpet and right now I'm going to have some more fun at the show because it's fun time. Come on, go me. I was talking to this, I was talking to this young lady. I know what I wasn't trying to check, I was preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to her. God bless your father. It's just, it is well with you. It is well with you. Say amen. I'll punish them. Now, um, I was sitting chatting with this young lady, you understand? So I'm sitting with her. We are talking. And like, and you know the big bat like their favorite pastor. She's just sitting like this. So she's sitting just passing time like that. So me, I asked her, hey baby, you resemble familiar. Have we met before? <laughs> so while I'm sitting there talking to her, she lets it out. Hey. I know. <laughs> Two seconds later, I can tell I can tell something was wrong when I saw the vein on her forehead. It divided many K, many go this side, K go this side, and then, okay. But, you know, so he lets it out, after two seconds, he lets it out again. I said, baby, I think someone's phone is ringing around here. He said, no, 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 it's my phone, it's a text message. I said, eh, hey, is that your phone? All oh, right, bless you, sister. I go, because if this baby get phone call, Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Nigerian woman, what is this? Why do you guys always do this? What is this? Hey, you are buying me flower. Your mates. Your mates are buying their girlfriend iPad. What do you want me to use this power to do? Oh, so you want me to cook a busi or okra with this power? Put your hands together, you Nigerian women. Let's welcome Chief for being to the stage, y'all. Thank you. 
Anyway, um, you all know that I missed the Dallas show. It was terrible because of the, the visa. Not like they, they didn't approve the visa, they approved the visa. But the passport was stuck. You know, but that, it's been a while I went to the embassy. But what I experienced that day was quite interesting. Do you know that anytime, I know everybody here, as long as we're not born here, and you went to the embassy, you went through the same shit. Like when you get there, and you have no, in your mind, every security personnel is, has the power to deny your visa. So so, they are nicer to people, you know, they tell you, can you, can someone just pack me his chair there? Can you just pack me? I'm sorry. Do you, at the embassy, you see some big men who empties of bank. We are just walking. They walk into the embassy, and they say, Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what's that? Empties of bank. No matter how big you are, you get to the embassy, you are always more content. I don't know how to do I'll tell you. But you know, by the end of the day, you know, I got the uh, got the passport and I'm here, you guys. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you so much. Uh, as I'm on stage right now, I can see some people who are not really like, you know, they're not really excited. But it's only, like most of all, I do gigs. Like when I came, I don't want to point fingers. You know, so we're just there looking at me. I like, cannot you know, you've paid. Just enjoy the show. Right? Just, I'm eating your money and you're angry like this. Yeah, no, just <laughs> you come the next. Let me do it. <laughs> anyway, generally, this is something. I, I, I wish you know it, it can. We will get to a point where we don't need visas to travel just within Africa to start with. Because South Africans, they, 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 before they used to give people. I got my first one. My first visa I got was one year. The second one was three years. The next one was six months. Later it was three months, but reducing. The last one was a month. And someone was telling me that they give them like one week, like Canada, they can give you, if you're going there for a seminar, and it's five days, they'll give you five days. One guy told me that they gave him six hours. So I wonder if it was me, they gave six hours. How about you? Now you don't land Canada, rush to the show. And you go, so, I'll see you guys later. Like, this is the next time, look at the book, everything. It's crazy. It's just so stingy with that stuff right now. And, and I was uh, in town around uh, what do you call it? Times Square when all these gay guys were parading. It was quite a sight. <laughs> when they announced, when, when Obama just came, I just declared the store 50 seats. Everybody enjoyed, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was trying to imagine how the president of Uganda and all those countries that they kill people, they find out that you are gay, they will be so upset. But you guys are making a terrible mistake. You guys don't know. In Africa, it's illegal to be gay. So what's going to be happening right now? They'll start flying down here for safety. At the end of the day, in the next five to ten years, America is going to be that haven for gay people. Which is good. Because when the straight guys are angry, White people now start coming to Africa. <laughs> because I don't, I don't like, I don't have anything against gay people. No, no, I'm fine as long as you know, just do your stuff. You know, we don't just bring it to me. I'm fine. Just do whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do with someone else's ass is your business. I don't care. My only is that at the end of time, we'll find out who is right or wrong. Because I know that I'm, I'm a Christian. God created Adam, then he was lonely, and he now gave him Eve. He didn't give him Abraham or Moses. He gave him a woman. Do you understand? And right now, everybody is not thinking, but it's fine, whatever you want to do is okay. But this is an opportunity for Nigerians. I know Nigerians are sharp. This is an opportunity for Nigerians to use and get green green card. You know why? Because in Nigeria, if you are gay, you are sentenced to 15 years, 14 years in prison. 15, 14 is the same thing. But it's a stupid law. Think about it. You, you find someone guilty of being gay and you sentence the person to jail. What do they practice in prison? 
is that the Polish means? They won't care. Like, I sentenced you to 14 years in jail. Put the guy like, are you serious? It's a blessing to these guys. They don't care. Right? So that punishment is not good. They should send them, send them to a female prison. They should not to suffer. So, please, that's why they suffer for 14 years. I'm telling you. But when they do that, man, I swear that even the straight, it is as if this is gay guy is a female prison. So straight guys that will be claiming gays so they will be female prison. Like after like two, three months, not like, not like nine months, you start hearing babies crying in prison. That's when you worry, you're like, what's happening? I like, just give you a bitch. Then they don't measure. Two faced, yeah, come on, come on, come on. It's crazy, man. This is gay stuff. I don't understand. Well, but think about it. In, in Nigeria, if you're gay, you go to jail 14 years, which is an opportunity for people to use in getting green cards. I saw this one the day I went for my interview. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm not making this shit up. I was sitting down, and they would go like, NIV 8. You just stand up, you go to the counter, they interview you. One gay guy was sitting. And you get that NIV 12, you get your stood up. You just walk. <laughs> go to the counter. So, sir, so what's your purpose uh, for your application? Um, okay, um, actually, um, you know, you know what's happening right now in the country, and. Okay, let me just be straight. Um, I'm actually gay, and I've been receiving a lot of threats. I'm not comfortable anymore. And the lady was like, Are you serious? People have been threatening to kill me, and I just don't feel like that's the reason why people leave me. They're like, No, you shouldn't be applying for a non immigrant visa. No, we're just fill this form, do this, do that. We're going to get you a green card. One guy. One guy that was sitting down listening to the conversation. His wife and his children. And they go to a store, and I need 30. The guy goes to the The wife was like, honey, no, 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 This is my real clothes. I'm not joking, this happened in real life. The guy changed instantly. But what's happening right now, I don't understand. It's going crazy, man. Everything is going crazy. You know, it's annoying. And I see, like, I would like to, uh, there are ways our parents used to. No, like no, our parents are so concerned, like you know, to find out if their son is gay, you know. Like that time I didn't used to have female friends. My dad would not come in bright come. <laughs> How come you don't have I'm not seeing you with a gay? Do you have a gay friend? I say uh, daddy, not yet, but I there's a girl I like, bring her. <laughs> Let me just see. Yeah, I'm sure you're walking around with boys. Yes. So people are just you know, killing, doing shit, but suicide, see what happened in Tunisia and all these other countries. People just kill people for no reason. And it's so annoying. Do you understand? And, and it's painful. That for, and, but it is, I don't know who washed their mind. Osama was the person we used to blame, but now he's dead. Who is the person that talks to these people? Because you have to be powerful for you to tell another man to kill himself or herself. Do you know how hard that shit is? You need to wash somebody's mind. And that the promise then was 21 virgin in heaven, right? Before it was 12, then it was 16, then it was 21. Who does that negotiation with God? <laughs> you know, like, oh, God, they are not dying anymore. Can we increase the negotiation? You know, they have kept in prison. It's 21 now. And, and, and that's not heaven, as far as I'm concerned. Do you understand? You know, for you to have 21 virgin, in heaven after you kill yourself. Think about it. This very one girl is hard enough. And you now have 21. How do you want to start? That's not enjoyment. No. That's punishment. You tell me it's okay, 21 street dancers. Ahead, who now 
But you can't try those kind of shit with Nigerians. Let to Sam go and tell in Nigeria, especially an Igbo man. Nandi, take this bomb, go blow the British Embassy. 21 virgins. He said, Nandi, go leave that thing. Give me five here. Wash someone's mind and you go and kill yourself. The human being will tell you, Mohammed, take this bomb, go to the British, boom. They will go sweating. Allah, boom. Dead, just like that. I wonder how they do it. Because I know, because Christians, you are cowards. I'm sorry to say, but it's the truth. Christians, you don't have that mind, you don't have that bold to want to say you want to kill yourself or walk out. <laughs> Even if Pope, Pope himself, Come to me and tell me to kill myself. Come on. I don't know how the Pope talks in real life, but let's imagine he talks like this. He just meets me. Basket mouth. The Lord told me to tell you to kill yourself.
Afghanistan, he stopped bombing. You notice, when you think back six years ago, when he died, bomb stopped. Why? Because those people, when they blow, blow the bomb and nobody carries the news, it's like you wasted the bomb. <laughs> you understand? So, all, you no, know, think about it, not bad, not that year, that period he died. CNN was on that matter for like six months, two other six months, no bomb blast. Mohammed, don't blow the bomb. Let's show you how powerful that guy is. That guy died. Farah Fawcett died a day before Michael Jackson. Farah Fawcett, CNN carried the news as Michael Jackson died before the court that she died. Nobody remember. Who know when they buried Farah Fawcett? Nobody. Nobody. She just went just like that. That's why I tell God every day, don't let anybody that is bigger than me die the day after I die. No. I died and then Chris Brown or Kevin Hart just died in the next I don't know what wake up with. That's cheating. Because I want to die, I want to die, let people celebrate. It's not a just die, the next somebody bigger will just die. They, even my mom said we don't even know anybody. So even though I died, hello, Godwin, you ain't bright, I've never seen bright for you. I want me to die, oh, eh, eh, are you serious? Okay, they're not choked. No, 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 that was bad for her. Like that, you know, that everything just ended. And the news was going on, interviewing people. Then my dad now died. Hmm. Hmm. Then my dad now died. And the last one was annoying. Because of CNN, really. Not the man himself. That guy is exceptional. Great guy. Great guy. One of the greatest black person I know. You know that when this guy died, they interviewed people that he did not even consider. He interviewed the first person that took a picture of him when he was leaving Robin Island. They interviewed the person, and the thing that person was saying was crap, but they still interviewed him. CNN right there. Uh, this is Becky Anderson, blah, 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 blah. We're here live in Johannesburg. This one I'm talking to Susan Bessie, blah, blah, blah. Took the first picture of um, uh, Mandela when he left Robin Island. The guys just started talking. Oh, you're saying? Right now, we're standing over there. <laughs> I saw this great man living, Robin Island, I brought my camera, and I took a picture of him living. And that's the picture you see. And my mind I was like, what's he concerned? This that was even good. The one that killed me was the guy that owned the shop. He owns the shop, and he went to interview. He was the first person that Mandela bought something from. I think it was bread. Think web, who could this thing? I'm not joking, he's dead. The guy just said that. Ah, you're sick. I was in my shop and I saw a great man, Mandela, walk there and he said he wanted to buy bread, a loaf of bread. And I gave him the bread. <laughs> and I gave him the bread. And he gave me 100 rands. And he gave me this money. And I wanted to give him change of 80 rands. And he said, Keep the change. And that's when I knew that this man is going to bring change to South Africa. <laughs> Mandela's burial was boring. It was boring. 
Did they carry the coffin? Play the blues. This how. This imagine this is the coffin. This how you bury the guy. Was it a song? Mandela, Michael Jackson, King of Pop. But Joy, Joy, how are you? I'm doing great. How have you been, also? Tell us. Um, since the last time I remember was Miss Nigeria USA. She is actually the founder, the CEO, and the over whatever name you can call it. She's like the head person, the founder, the CEO of Miss Nigeria USA. Uh, that just took place like a month ago, May 23rd. 
that's like last month so tell us has it been since then it's been amazing like the support i got was really out of the floor like i didn't really expect everybody to be there and i just want to say thank you to everyone that came to miss nigeria usa i love you guys and you guys are the best and hope to see you guys next year may same day 2016 <laughs> you've had it i was there myself it was an amazing show i was so impressed to see a young lady like this from nigeria who made us proud because it's not easy people try so much they do all sort of things to make it happen here in new year but she made it happen and tell me it's basket mouth uncensored how did you enjoy the show oh my god i was laughing so hard my head hurts like it was an amazing show i loved it and he had to pick up me like oh my god but it was good i love it oh what do you expect when you get the <laughs> vip seat and you get to sit in front right in front of them because no one else are going to pick up than you so tell me what do you have to say to people back home um well uh, i'm gonna say actually to people here we need to start supporting our people more often and mm -hmm. it's really great it's, i see when people do concerts like chris brown everyone is going out there to support chris brown do all that i'm not saying supporting chris brown is bad but i'm just saying support our own first you know it's really important and the same support they showed to me i feel like they should support other people as well me but because you know well them that's what i want to say but yeah <laughs> <laughs> I want to support, you know, our own as much as, you know, we can. That would be really amazing. Okay, guys, you've heard it. Let's try and support ourselves because we have no other person but us. If we don't start with us, then we're not, we're not, you know, showing a good example. We have to start with us, like Joy just said. So, Joy, tell us. What surprises do we have for next year's Miss Nigeria USA 2016? Um, actually, I'm going to put everything in God's hands and expect the best. The best. It's going to be amazing. Bigger and better next year. Very big next oh, year. Oh, you've had it. So you guys should keep your fingers crossed and get on your buckle, your shoes up, because <laughs> it's going to be a jolly ride. It's always a jolly ride with joy. And it's been an amazing show. It's Basket Mount Uncensored live in New York. So, Joy, thank you for coming on the thank show you tonight. So much. And it's a wrap. The show has finally come to an end. It has been an amazing night. I have laughed so much that my eyes are begging me to go to sleep right now because I laughed so much that I've not laughed for a long time. Basket Mouth is such an amazing comedian. Not just him. Every other comedian that was in the house today made it a wonderful show. And we look forward to them coming back to New York City again. It's been a great show. And it's Basket Mouth on Censored Life in New York. And I'm going to call it a wrap tonight. It was nice hanging out with you guys. I had fun and I'm sure you had fun as well. We're going to see you some other time. And you're watching African Connect online. My name still remains Linda. Have a lovely time and see you some other time. Bye-bye.